Well, thank you for coming, everybody. Um, this is Janice Sakata Schultz. I'm a travel advisor with Cruise Planners, and I'm um, I welcome you to our virtual cruise night, um, hosted by myself and uh, Brandon Oscarson, who is the business development manager for the Southwest Region for Alma Waterways, and. Um, I just think river cruising is a completely awesome and a wonderful experience, very different from ocean cruising, and uh, you'll learn so much more about it um, as uh, Brandon's going to give his presentation tonight. So thank you for coming and take it away, Brandon. Excellent. Thank you so much. And thank you, Janice, for putting this together. And thank you, everybody, for joining us. I'm going to go ahead and jump in and get started again. My name is Brandon. I've been with Alma Waterways for eight years now. Wonderful company. I love river cruising and I love talking about it. And again, I appreciate you taking the time to join us. So uh, with Alma Waterways, uh, we do a lot of things uniquely. So as I go through these slides and talk about what we do, you'll hear me use the word unique quite often. And one of the ways that we operate uniquely actually begins with our cruise managers, the people who take care of you when you travel with us. Now, when you take a river cruise, you typically tie that in with some sort of land package. If you're going to cruise on my Romantic Danube, you'll start off with three nights in Prague, then take your seven night cruise down into Budapest. With Alma Waterways, we have your cruise manager sitting at a welcome desk at the hotel when you arrive in Prague. So this is your first point of contact. Your cruise manager will be at that welcome desk each day while you're in Prague. They'll even go on a city tour of Prague with you. But the reason we want them to be there with you is one, you have that connection with them right off the get go. They're also going to help you make the most out of your time while you're in Prague. This very same person gets on the cruise, does the seven nights with you, and as you're getting off, they're typically the last person to bid you farewell. Now, the, the reason that this is unique is everybody else in this industry, they typically have a tour guide on the land and your cruise manager, manager just on the cruise. We want you to have that one point of contact from your first to last day, and you will absolutely make a friend that very first day. Now here we see a map of all of the destinations that Alma Waterways cruises around the world. As you can see, our primary focus is in Europe, but we also cruise the Mekong Delta through Vietnam and Cambodia. We are in the, on the Chobe River in Africa, and then we cruise the Nile River beginning September of this year in Egypt. I am very excited about this one. It is new and uh, you would think there's a fire cell on it. It is selling very quickly because one, people feel very comfortable about traveling uh, later in the year. And two, it is a big bucket list for a lot of people as well. Now, here we have a list of all of our ships uh, that have been operating over the last few years. Obviously, last year, we didn't have any new ships come out. We do have three new ones coming out this year. But one of the things that I like to bring up with this slide is we are a debt-free company. It has been our policy since the beginning, 18 years ago, to pay cash for our ships before they hit the water. Now, the beautiful thing about this is uh, cruising has been a, a very challenging industry with COVID over the last year, and it puts us in a very strong financial position. So when you're getting ready to book your trip and you're wondering, uh, will the company still be around? Absolutely. We're in a great position. And that brings me to another really neat point. We are the only river cruise line based out of the United States that was able to have a boat in operation last year. Uh, we had our Ama Christina cruising on the Rhine River, servicing the German market. Uh, so they were uh, taking care of guests from Germany, Austria, and Switzerland as well. Now, the reason that this is so great is everybody else is in the process of figuring out what their safety protocols are going to be. We exercised them from the, the beginning of July all the way up until the middle of November, and we had rave reviews. Now, I don't want to talk about every little detail of what we're doing on board. Uh, there's a couple of ways you can watch a five-minute video with full details. Uh, you can go to amawaterways.com forward slash travel dash updates, or you can just simply go to YouTube and look up Alma Waterways. It is one of the first videos that comes up, and we'll go over our protocols and also 
you'll hear the guest experience from the, the people who were traveling with us over the summer last year. Uh, you can also reach out to Janice and she can help direct you where you can find this information. A couple of things that I will bring up is we actually sanitized your luggage before we put it into your room. Uh, this way you feel safe getting your hands on it and uh, handling it because once you get off the plane, we take care of it. We put it on a, a motor coach and we get it onto the ship for you. Face coverings are worn by staff at all times. Uh, gloves as well. Guests only wear face coverings when going from their stateroom into a common area. Germany and Austria mandated that only 100 guests can be allowed on board a river cru cruise vessel at one time with COVID happening. Uh, so we have been able to set our shit up, ships up to be socially distant. And as you saw on the slide before, uh, we actually had plexiglass in between the couches in our uh, uh, lounge area. Now, with uh, the masks, the reason you have to wear them when you're migrating from one place to another is because the hallways are narrow and you're absolutely going to cross paths with other guests on board. Now, the last thing I'll mention, uh, surprisingly, the most common question we were asked is do you have recirculated air on board? And the answer is no. All of the air is brought in fresh from outside. Each and every room, each and every stateroom has its own individual heat and cooling coil system. So you're constantly getting fresh air and you are not sharing the same air with the room next to you. Again, for more information, amawaterways.com forward slash travel dash updates. All right, now the owner of our company, uh, the president, his name is Rudy Schreiner, and he is considered by everybody in the river cruise industry to be the innovator of the industry. He was the first person to put French balconies on a river cruise vessel. He was the first person to put verandas on a river cruise vessel. Now he's an architect by trade, so he actually designs our ships. And with our AMA Magna, he really broke the mold. This came out in May of 2019. This ship is double the width, but only holds 40 additional guests. So this space went into our staterooms and amenities. We were really looking for ocean cruisers who haven't been on a river cruise yet to give you some of those staterooms that are extra large and also the amenities you're looking for when you go on a cruise. And something that's really neat to share, Time Magazine voted the Alma Magna as one of the top destinations in the world that you must see in 2019. Now, when I talk about the staterooms and being larger, the average size stateroom is 355 square feet. Uh, just getting into an entry level stateroom is 205 square feet. Uh, and it goes all the way up to our owner suite, which is 710 square feet. So if you like large and spacious staterooms, you're absolutely going to find them on board the AMA Magna. And when I talk about having more amenities, we have four unique dining venues on board this vessel. Uh, we have our main restaurant where you will have cuisine from the areas that you're cruising through. Uh, Jimmy's Wine Bar, it's going to have the same menu as the main dining room, but it's served family style. So we bring large portions in the middle of the table and everyone serves themselves. Now the Alma Magna couldn't operate last year. We'll have to see what happens when we're all able to start traveling again. Hopefully we can have the protocols in place where we can make this still work. The Alfresco Dining, a, a I, when I was there, we counted seven different, very small courses up at the front of the ship. The windows there dropped down, weather permitting. I was there in November. We didn't want the windows down. But in the summertime, you can get that nice, warm, fresh air into the alfresco dining experience. And then the chef's table on the Ama Magna. Now, all of our ships have a chef's table. It's a specialty dining restaurant. Uh, this is very unique because it's completely open. The, the Kitchen is part of the dining room, so you can actually communicate with the chef while he's preparing your meal. These are all absolutely amazing. They're included. There's no extra charge for any of these additional dining options. Now, something else really neat, there is a cinema on board the Ama Magna. Uh, when I was on board, uh, I had the experience there was an eight-year-old who was traveling with her parents, and it was really neat for her because they have a 
PlayStation 5 and a Nintendo Switch in there. So she had her own form of entertainment while we were on board the ship. Uh, they also have a, a lot of movies that you can watch in there as well. And it's all digital. You don't have to use DVDs or anything. Everything is digital and preloaded on there. For our guests who like to stay active and fit while they travel, the Ama Magna has a full Zen wellness studio. And I say a full Zen wellness studio because there's more than what we're looking at here. You have state-of-the-art uh, fitness equipment out on the back of the ship. If you like to take spin classes, you can do that overlooking the beautiful Danube. And then just outside of the fitness area, we have our Zen wellness bar. Each day you'll find uh, different uh, waters that are infused with fruits, minerals, and herbs, gemstone infused water. On the other side of it, we have massage tables so that you can go in and get massages while you're traveling. Now moving on to our twin balcony stateroom vessels, which is what we're really known for. What we're looking at here is an entry level stateroom, categories D and E. This is 160 square feet. As you can see, you have picture windows that span across the stateroom up at the top there. This is a very spacious and comfortable stateroom for an entry level stateroom. And I'm sorry if you hear the dogs barking in the background. My wife just came home. It's part of working from home these days. <laughs> All right, here we have our category C, which this is one of our most popular staterooms. <clears throat> you have French balconies. So what we're looking at here is sliding glass doors that open the span of the stateroom, uh, some bars there to keep you in your stateroom, especially if you've had a few drinks and you want to sit there in the chairs and get some nice fresh air. Uh, and as I go through these slides, you'll see that I use, I've selected images from different ships. I want to show you that we like to use very warm and inviting colors on all of our vessels. Now, when I say twin balcony, a lot of people don't know what I mean. This is a twin balcony stateroom. On your right-hand side, we're looking at a French balcony. On the left-hand side, you have your own full veranda. So if you want to step outside, sit down on some chairs and have a glass of wine or a cup of coffee, you can do that from the privacy of your own stateroom. So these are either 210 square feet or 235 square feet. The larger of these, can accommodate triples. This is something unique to AMA Waterways. Nobody else in the industry can accommodate triples. Uh, some of these staterooms have a twin size sofa bed that opens up in the French balcony area. Uh, this is good if you have a family of three, maybe a kid that wants to come along with you or you want to bring along with you, I should say. <laughs> you can put them in there. If you happen to have three adults that want to travel and be in the same stateroom, I would strongly recommend going with the suite. We are capable of accommodating quads here. However, we will not accommodate uh, four people in a stateroom. We're partnered with Adventures by Disney and they will put families of four in here. Uh, what we're looking at, that's a queen size sofa bed. Now, uh, another request by Adventures by Disney that gives us another unique option is we actually have connecting staterooms. Uh, now, this is great that Disney made this request of us because we have so many friends and family who enjoy traveling together and they love having this option to just be closer to each other when they decide to go back to their staterooms for the evening or while they're getting ready in the morning. Now with AMA Waterways, we do have complimentary Wi-Fi and we happen to have the fastest Wi-Fi in the industry. We are the only company that is invested in a 4G network on all of our European vessels. Now there's a couple of reasons here. Well, there's really one reason nobody else has done it. It's very expensive to get the 4G network onto your ships, uh, but it's even more expensive to run it annually. Uh, the first year we had this in place, we very quickly realized that 4G would cost more than fuel for all of our ships around the world. But we also understand how important it is. Almost all of our guests have smartphones and tablets these days. When you go on your excursions, you're going to take a lot of amazing pictures. When you get back on the ship, you have that great internet quality you can share with your friends and family on your social media, email, whatever platform you happen to use so that you can share these amazing experiences with them. Now, something that we started doing a couple of years ago, uh, we have what is called My AMA Cruise app. So this is an app that will give you your daily 
uh, itinerary in full details, every little thing that's available for you day by day so that you can really plan out what's, you've got a lot of choices for excursions. So you can kind of plan things out as you're going along. Uh, this also, you can create virtual um, postcards that you can send to your friends and family directly from the app. Uh, this becomes available for you to, to view about a week before your trip actually starts. Now, in the evenings, we really want to immerse you into the cultures of the places we've taken you to. Yes, you're going to have these great cultural immersions while you're exploring, but we want you to have similar experiences on board. We bring singers, musicians, dancers to perform for our guests in the evenings after dinner time. And speaking of dinner and cultural immersion, you have an exquisite experience dining with us. Uh, we are the highest rated river cruise line in all of Europe. And the one thing that tops the chart every time, it's our dining. We are members of Le Chien de Rotisser. They are the most prestigious culinary organization in the world. Membership is by invitation only. Uh, again, the meals on board are just amazing. And we give our guests two separate dining venues to choose from. Uh, up at the front of the ship, you're going to have your main restaurant. This is where you're going to have cuisine from the areas you're cruising through for lunch and dinner. Breakfast will be very standard breakfast options. Now, we used to also have buffet options for uh, breakfast and lunch in the middle of the dining area. Uh, with COVID, we have taken that out. We were considering removing the buffet prior uh, because we are a luxury experience. And typically uh, in a luxury experience, you don't have a buff buffet option. So what we're doing is we're putting action stations in the center where we'll have extra chefs preparing different uh, items that you can have served to your table by your uh, waiter. Now at the aft of the ship, again, we have our specialty dining venue. This is our chef's table. Now on our standard twin balcony vessels, you're going to see that with the, the chef's table, you have a glass partition between the kitchen and the dining room. You can see the chefs preparing your meal. Uh, we can only seat about 28 people here uh, per dinner. So reservations are made on board, unless you happen to put a group together, then we can pre-reserve that for you. But everybody gets an opportunity to dine here. It's included, and this is very special. So with the chef's table, you don't actually look at a menu. Once everybody is seated, we bring out three small hors d'oeuvres. After that, we move on to champagne with sorbet soaking in it, a little palate cleanser. We move on to two small entrees finished with three small desserts, and we pair this with three different wines throughout the evening. This is most guest favorite dining experience while they're traveling with us. Now, we do include complimentary free flowing soda, beer, and wine with your lunch and dinner. The wines come from the regions that we're cruising through. Uh, so you can have a different wine from uh, your lunch to your dinner, uh, because uh, again, we're selecting wines from the regions you're cruising through. Again, we're giving you that cultural experience that you're looking for. And if you love wine, you're gonna have some very amazing and unique wines. Uh, we take you to bring wines on board that are not imported. So some of them you can't even find back here at home. Now, in the mornings, there is complimentary sparkling wine or champagne along with complimentary juices. 24 seven, you have access to complimentary coffee, specialty coffee drinks, tea, bottled water replenished to your room as often as you would like. When you're going off the ship to go on an excursion, we're going to hand you a bottle of water. When you're coming back onto the ship from your excursions, we're going to give you a hot or cold drink, just depending on what the weather is like outside. And before dinner every evening, we have a complimentary cocktail hour. We call this our sip and sell hour. This is an amazing opportunity to go up into the lounge and socialize with other guests. River cruising is a very intimate experience. I've been on 11 cruises over the past eight years. I have yet to sell with more than 145 people. And as you can guess, I'm very social. I typically know just about everybody on the ship before I get off. And the cocktail hour really makes it easy for me to get out and get to know everybody. It's also a great opportunity for your cruise manager to tell you what's in store the next day. 
you will get a detailed itinerary uh, about a month before you leave. I always suggest not trying to over plan because every evening your cruise manager during your sip and sell will tell you what's in store the next day. Now these cruise managers have been with us for up to 18 years. They have been on these rivers hundreds of times. Uh, they're going to tell you the different types of excursions that are included and what to expect from each one of them. And you will find that you will change your mind at least once or twice before you get off the ship. Now, if you happen to have dietary restrictions, we can accommodate any dietary need. Every single meal is prepared to order. So be it gluten-free, dairy-free, low sodium, food allergies, we can accommodate everything. And it will all be absolutely spectacular. Uh, something else neat we do, and we do this on all of our ships, we have a detox water of the day. This is water infused with fruits, minerals, and herbs. And it actually helps support your immune system. I'm a certified health coach, I will attest this works. It actually helps. When you're jet lagged, uh, maybe being a little more active than normal, running around towns because of all the included excursions, or maybe having a few extra drinks while you're traveling, uh, little things like this can end up making a big different difference, especially while you're traveling. So I do make one comparison between us and one of our competitors. Uh, to be professional, I won't say their name, but it rhymes with hiking. They're, <laughs> they're actually a great company. I have nothing bad to say, but we're very different than they are. And the reason I use them as an example is the number one question I am consistently asked is, what is the difference between you and them? So our ships are the same size as a long ship. Uh, we put 100 in. 56 guests on board, they put 196 guests on board. So with us, you'll find larger staterooms on average, uh, more amenities, uh, but more importantly, and this is my personal opinion, more common area space. When you go into our lounge, every one of our guests will have a comfortable couch, chair, or even a plush bar stool to sit and relax on. And the reason this is so important, in my opinion, is because for your cruise manager meetings, your sip and sell, uh, anytime you're not on an excursion or dining, you don't really hang out in your room. You go up into the lounge uh, for your free time. Uh, we've even gone as far as to put libraries on our ships dating back to 2010. And this is a place you go for some quiet time. It's right next to the lounge. And I'll tell you a funny story. We used to keep board games in the library. Well, one night we had an opera singer in the lounge and a very heated game of Yahtzee in the library. So the next day, all the board games happen to disappear. I think we're down to maybe some chess checkers, maybe cards as well. I did mention we have more amenities. We truly have more amenities than anybody else in the industry. And, and the reason this is, anytime you put uh, an amenity on board, you're taking away from a place that you can have people sleeping at night. So with us, we have a spa. If you'd like to get massages while you travel, we can take care of that for you. We have a salon on board. If you wanna get your hair done, especially if you're in Vienna and you choose the Mozart and Strauss concert in the evening, you can get that done right on board with us. There is a state-of-the-art fitness center, cardio equipment, a cable resistance training system. If you like to keep, keep fit and active, we are really good at helping you do that. And there's a pool on all of our ships from 2010 to now up on the sun deck. Even if you take a Christmas market cruise, we bring those pools up to a good 104, 105 degrees. So it's like a big hot tub up on our sun deck. And something unique to AMA Waterways, we actually have a really incredible wellness program. Every one of our ships is going to have a wellness coach on board. Well, I should say everyone, but in Africa, that ship's a little too small to put a wellness coach on board. So these wellness coaches, what they do, they'll have a class at 9 a.m. and another, I'm sorry, 7 a.m. and 7.30 a.m. And it's a mix of different things each time. One class will be yoga. The next might be some core training or resistant band training, maybe some light stretching or Tai Chi. It's something a little different each time and it is designed for anybody and everybody. So uh, depending on your level of fitness, you can anybody can really take advantage of this. I will tell you if you take a cruise with us, the one class you cannot skip out on is champagne yoga. It is a lot of fun and drinking champagne while doing yoga is fantastic. I think it makes you a little more limber too. 
<laughs> All right. So another area in this industry where we truly set ourselves apart on a very high level, it's our shore excursions. We have more included excursions than anybody else in the industry. Uh, matter of fact, it's more than 20 included excursions per seven night selling. The way that we're able to do this, every single port we stop at, you have your included city tour. The city tour will have three levels of activity. We have gentle walkers, regular pace walkers, and then we have active walkers. Active walkers have become very popular with us. And it's not because they're moving faster. Uh, they're actually taking on more challenging tasks. They're going on hikes. And this is a really good example. We're looking at the city of Dernstein. This is in Austria. Uh, up at the top of the hill there, those are the ruins of the Burgoyne Castle. This is where King Richard the Lionheart was held captive during his crusades. Our active walkers will hike up the stairs. You can see right at the front of the hill there. They'll go and explore the ruins. Now, something else that we offer are bike excursions. Uh, if you like to cycle, we have 25 bikes per European vessel, complimentary guided bike tours, uh, or if you want to just grab a bike and stroll into town on your own, you are more than welcome to do that as well. I am going to circle back to more included excursions and, and explain how we're able to do this. So I've already discussed your three levels of activity. Let's talk about Vienna for a moment. Uh, our guests who wake up in Vienna have a lot of options available that morning. One, you can take the city tour, choose your level of activity. Maybe you've been to Vienna. You want to do something different. We offer, and these are all included, the back alleys of Vienna, a cooking demonstration, a wine tasting, or an art tour. You get to choose what you would like to do. So there's a few reasons that we're set up this way. Uh, one, it's nice to have a small group. If you like to ask questions with the tour guide, uh, you have a, a lot easier to, uh, option to do so. Uh, two, it's nice to have choices. You know, sometimes you feel like doing something a little different. Uh, but three, and I think this is uh, probably the best one in my opinion, is we have a lot of guests who have been very well traveled and sometimes they're going back to the same place for maybe the second, third or fourth time. If you want to do something totally different each time, you can have a unique experience in the same place. So again, more included excursions than anybody else in the industry. Now for our guests who are wine advocates or winos, take or pick, <laughs> whatever you like, uh, we have our wine themed cruises. Uh, so these are amazing, especially if you love wine because we bring winemakers from right here in the States over to Europe with us. They do tastings, pairings and lectures on board with their own wines. Uh, but then we also go to private cellars and vineyards in Europe where they're experts in those wines as well. And you'll have tastings and pairings in those. Outside of Europe, we have three exotic destinations. Uh, this happens to be one of my favorite trips I've ever been on in my life. Uh, Vietnam, Cambodia, and the riches of the Mekong. The full trip is 15 nights. So I'll break it down for you. You can do this in segments, but the full itinerary, you start off with two nights in Hanoi. Uh, then we move on to Siem, uh, we do one night on Ha Long Bay, fly down to Siem Reap for three nights where you'll explore temples like Angkor Wat, which is on the right upper right hand side there, uh, the largest religious monument in the world. It is breathtaking. After your three nights in Siem Reap, you'll take a seven night cruise on the Amadara, which is an all twin balcony vessel. And then we finish with two nights post in Ho Chi Minh City. Now this does run both directions. If you're going to do this trip and not take the 15 nights, I will tell you, you cannot go to this part of the world without spending at least a couple of nights in Siem Reap. It is one of the peak highlights of this entire trip. It is spectacular. My computer's thinking here. There we go. All right. Now, this is extremely popular with us. We are the only river cruise line that offers a river cruise combined with a safari in Africa. We're the only company that actually does this. Uh, this is amazing. The Zambezi Queen is on the Chobe River in Namibia. And now this is tied to five different uh, itineraries to choose from. So we have five different safaris that you can choose from. 
ranging from nine all the way up to 19 nights with us, especially if you take uh, the post Rwanda extension to go trek into the mountains to see the gorillas. And as you can see, beautiful accommodations. Uh, the Zambezi Queen, 14 staterooms, all suites. This is a very intimate river cruising experience. And I will tell you, uh, at the eight years I've been with Ama Waterways, everybody I know that has done this itinerary, hands down, it is their favorite trip that they have ever been on. Now, I mentioned at the beginning that I'm very excited about this, uh, Secrets of Egypt and the Nile. This is going to be an 11 night itinerary with us. You cannot book a seven night cruise only. There's just too much to do and see here. So we've put together this beautiful package where you'll do three nights in Cairo. Uh, you will do a round trip cruise out of Luxor on the Amidalia, which is being built as we speak. She is going to be absolutely spectacular. 34 staterooms. So again, another intimate river cruising experience and she will have all of the luxuries our European vessels have. It looks absolutely spectacular. And then one night post in Cairo. Now this itinerary has its built-in 11 nights. You can tack on some pre and post options. Uh, for the pre, we actually have two options. You can either do three nights in Dubai or four nights in Jordan. Uh, after the cruise, you have a choice to do four nights in Jerusalem. So if you're ever interested in, in seeing Israel and you want to tack it on, we can take care of that for you as well. Now, when I talk about Alma Waterways, I, I always like to use Burlitt's Guide when I discuss how we are rated and where we are rated. Uh, one thing I've learned over the many years of being in this industry, uh, whenever you open a publication and see number one river cruise line, uh, one of two things has happened. Either somebody simply paid to put that there or very clever marketing goes into place to make that happen. Burlitz uses secret shoppers, so we don't even know when they've been on board. They have now released three editions and each time 10 of our ships have been the highest rated in the book. So this really shows you consistency in how we operate. And when I say that we are the highest rated, we truly are the highest rated in Europe. Now I do have a show special uh, for taking the time to join us this evening. I will offer a hundred per person discount. That's good until February 3rd. This is only for Janice. So you'll have to contact her to get this discount, <clears throat> but we'll get that on the booking for you. And Janice is part of Cruise Planners. Cruise Planners has a lot of incredible uh, extras that you get by booking with them. So <clears throat> here's a small list of them uh, that, that include complimentary prepaid pre gratuity that I'm tongue tied tonight. <laughs> um, again, contact Janice. She can help you pick the right date with the right amenities on the right river so that you can do what feels good for you. And ladies and gentlemen, that is my time. I thank you for joining us. If you have any questions, uh, you uh, are more than welcome to unmute yourselves and I'll be happy to answer them for you. Well, actually, I have a question, uh, Brandon. Yes. Uh, the, uh, I guess the, um, let's see, the Egypt cruise or when yeah. uh, the ones that go, you know, into Egypt. When do those start again? What it's days? Or what what year? What does uh, um, I guess the uh, year or <laughs> <This year. laughs> when do they start? <laughs> when we start September of this year. <clears throat> Last I checked, we were at about seventy five percent occupancy for this year and seventy percent occupancy for next year. Uh, we don't typically open 23 or the next, the following year so quickly, but with that one, we are very close to releasing it because, uh, again, you would think we have a fire sell on it. It is such a popular destination. And I will tell you with uh, the Nile, I've done a presentation with an Egyptologist twice now, and he is floored by all of the special things we're doing that nobody else does because it's very expensive to do them and we're just including them. We actually go to Nefertari's tomb, which is the most beautiful tomb in all of Egypt, uh, verified by this gentleman, and nobody else does it because it's quite costly, and we just include it because it's such an incredible experience. Mm -hmm. All right. And uh, the uh, cruise to Africa, or the river cruise in Africa, the Zimbabwe Queen, that, I, I always found that that, um, sold out very fast. I mean, I think you probably don't even have availability for 21, I'm sure. It's probably now into 22 and even 23 right now. I have availability 21, 22. Oh, 21, oh, okay. 
Sorry. Um, you're probably not surprised. A lot of people have moved things around over the last year. <laughs> so <That's true. laughs> if, anyone, yeah, if anyone's interested in uh, going to Africa, actually, I will tell you, uh, one of my colleagues in the industry uh, works for African Travel, and he is over there now on safari. And right. he said it is spectacular spectacular that it's like uh, taking a safari 30 40 years ago because there's not many people there and uh, it's a it's a much more intimate experience all in all excellent all right those are just the questions i had you know so that was it well, again, yeah i just have to say um i did go um you know on a river cruise not ama but i hope to real <laughs> soon <laughs> But I, I, I just love river cruising just that one time. And I think that going on Alma is actually going to probably elevate um, what I know about river cruising because I, I just, you know, see what they do and all the things that Brandon explained. And I think that, you know, it's it's one of those things that um, you definitely should experience once once in your life or more if you choose to do that. So. Thank you so much. And thank you again for organizing everything this evening. Uh, if you all have please. questions, uh, please reach out to Janice. She will make sure that you're well taken care of. And everybody have a beautiful evening. Thank right. you. Yeah. Th yeah. Thank you for attending, everyone. Thanks. Good night. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Bye. Bye.